hope you're all doing great. Today I'm gonna do a review of the Louis Vuitton Reverse Monogram Petite Mal. The petite mouths are hard cases as opposed to the usual softer canvas or leather bags. Louis Vuitton is known for their hard trunks and travel luggage. That's what brought the brand to prominence in their early beginnings. So this is definitely a signature product for Louis Vuitton. I haven't really considered this bag when I first started buying luxury goods, mainly because of the price. A trunk this size costs upwards of $5,000 USD and that's just crazy. However, the prices will only keep going up, so if you have your mind set on one of these, I would suggest buying it sooner rather than later. Especially if there's a color combination that you really love. And that's actually the most important factor that made me make the purchase. It's because I love this reverse monogram and regular monogram combination and I found that out after getting the uh, Vanity PM which is my favorite recent Louis Vuitton product because of the little patch of reverse monogram up here so let's talk about some of the things I look at when I make a bag purchase. The first is aesthetics. Yes, to me the look of the bag is very important. I'm willing to let go of practicality for a really good looking bag and I think this is an example. This bag has neutral colors that will go with every outfit. Now let's look at some of the details. The corners are padded with an extra layer of leather which are secured with these gold studs and there is also a band of this leather across the front near the top decorated by gold studs. Uh, same in the back and the band is near the bottom. The hardware on the bag is a shiny gold which really brings up the elegance of a canvas bag. These two clasps here are just for decoration as are these red cross looking things. Um, they don't have any functionality. And this large gold buckle in the middle allows you to release the top flap and open the bag. The buckle is pretty smooth and once you open the top flap um, this is a magnetic closure which is a very nice detail touch I put the strap in here the bag comes with a very thin strap but I think it looks very good because it has the mm, not focusing because it has the flower pattern of the Louis Vuitton throughout the strap. It's also adjustable. Once you open the bag, the inside is made of beige leather. There is one tiny pocket here which you might be able to fit one or two cards in there, but I also think it's for decoration. talk about wear and tear even though this seems to be protected by leather because the corners are so rigid they are prone to getting damaged so I would be careful when wearing this bag and you see these metal studs on the bottom they're not really feet they don't protrude out farther than the canvas so they're just there for decoration purposes not to protect your bag. Next, I'll be using a Chanel rectangular mini flap to compare with this. Okay, let's talk about weight. Um, this is actually not that much heavier than the Chanel mini flap. 
because Chanel has a metal chain throughout the entire strap and this bag actually used to be a lot heavier but people complained about how heavy it was uh, combined with how thin the strap was which was really uncomfortable on the shoulders so ever since 2015 or 16 they changed the way they made this bag and now it's much lighter so if you buy an older version just keep in mind it might be heavier next let's talk about size uh, you can see that these two are pretty similar in size actually. They are about the same width. The petite male is a little bit taller and it is thinner. That is not to say they will hold the same amount of stuff. I'm going to be fitting things into this bag to see what it can hold. The first thing I'm gonna put is my phone. I have an iPhone 10 Max. The newest phone I think is just slightly larger, but I'm pretty sure it'll fit in this bag. There's no problem here. Next, I'm going to put a Louis Vuitton Zoe wallet. This is one of the smallest compact full wallets that Louis Vuitton makes. You can put cards, cash, and it has a little pouch for coins. I highly recommend this wallet by the way. It's really small and it holds a ton. And this color, pink, is adorable. Oh, this compared to a Chanel card holder is actually a little bit smaller in width and height. It is just thicker. It, it will close, no problem. Next, let's just put this card holder in there. It's just a regular Chanel card holder. I think many brands have similar sizes. Now, it appears to be okay, everything fits, but now you can already see that I can't close the bag anymore because they can't lay parallel to each other. So now you have to fidget around and get creative in order for your items to fit. Like now I'm gonna turn my card holder vertical and I'm gonna turn this wallet vertical and see oh now they both fit but you cannot put anything else in there anymore so this is at full capacity if you want to put a compact in there or a lip gloss you're gonna have to take something out and you can't keep them in a key ball you have to put them in there just individually now I'm gonna close this up. You can carry as a crossbody with the strap or as a clutch, but not as a top handle. It's decently heavy. Um, if you were to take this for a long walk, your shoulders might get uncomfortable. Obviously, the downside to this bag is its small capacity. But if you're buying this bag, I would say it is to invest in the craftsmanship of a signature Louis Vuitton hard case and to appreciate its aesthetics. I would not recommend this as a first luxury purchase as the score is really low on practicality and I wouldn't want anyone to be frustrated with their first luxury purchase. That would be terrible. I do however think it scores very high on how pretty it looks. I'm going to be putting up some mod shots of me wearing this bag in the two different ways at the end of the video. Next time, I think I'll do a review of some of my Chanel bags, most likely mini to small size. 
so if you're interested in that please subscribe to my channel and if you feel like being a nice person today please click the like button that's it thank you so much see you next time